Alright guys, welcome back to another Horror Room Movie Review, and today is Seed of Chucky. This is the last movie in the Child's Play franchise, and the movie that pretty much killed off the franchise. Uh, just a horrible follow-up to Bride of Chucky, and Bride of Chucky was a horrible follow-up to the first three movies. Um, and I did expect this movie to be a lot worse, just because of what I heard about it, and it did have some funny moments. But at the end of the day, it's still just a shitty movie really and fans of the first three Chucky movies aren't going to be happy and if you sat someone down who's a fan of kind of dark comedies like scary movie um, where they just parody other horror movies they're going to be like what the hell is this so you're really just not pleasing either group and just from the very beginning it was kind of like what the hell is going on the story was just so ridiculous and over the top um, that's what really turned me off of it. They kind of just used a few elements from the Chucky movies, like the amulet, um, the rituals, and things like that, but it was kind of downplayed in favor of this like ridiculous comedy style. And so it didn't really feel like a Chucky movie, and it also did a lot of damage to Chucky's character, just the way they portrayed him in this movie. But it came out in 2004, had a budget of $12 million dollars. And it only made $24 million, so it was pretty much a failure. But the funny thing is, I watched this on Netflix. And they have a description, just like they do for all the movies. And I wrote it down. It says, Murderous doll Chucky gets help from his son Glenn. They named his son Glenn. Um, a doll as vengeful as his father, and Tiffany, Glenn's wife, who also has a thirst for blood. So right there, just in the description, they've already botched it. Because we all know Tiffany is Glenn's mother, not his wife. But anyway, it starts off, and we see like this sperm, I guess, going through. Um, and then we see Glenn, and on his arm it says, Made in Japan. And I just see that. And this is the opening of the movie. Um, like when they're playing the credits and stuff. And I just saw that, and I was like, oh my god. So, I knew what I was in for, though. Um, we see a doll kill this family, this British family, and then we see that it's Glenn, and he wakes up. And he's older, and apparently some guy found him six years ago in the cemetery, and now he uses him as a ventriloquist act called Psych and Shitface. And he kind of treats Glenn like crap. Uh, he keeps him locked up in a cage. And he's British. He lives in England. And he also has blue eyes, even though Chucky and Tiffany have green eyes. And he says that he has these horrible nightmares, but he isn't evil, and he wonders where his parents are. And they do kind of make Glenn look like a good guy. He's not evil like Chucky or Tiffany. He's, he's just kind of lost. So we see Chucky and Tiffany and they kill a guy dressed as Santa Claus but it turns out they're filming a movie called Chucky Goes Psycho and then we see Jennifer Tilly who's playing herself in this movie so she, not only is she the doll Tiffany but she's playing herself so yes it was already very bizarre because of this and Redman who is also playing himself is making a movie and Jennifer Tilly wants to try out for it, try and restart her career. She's making jokes about how, oh, my career's in the toilet, I'm having to play a puppet, and it was just, you know, they're trying to be funny. So, let's see where I am here. So back in England, um, Glenn is watching television, and he sees Chucky and Tiffany on TV with the... I guess uh, special effects crew are doing interviews with them. It's not like Chucky and Tiffany, they're just dolls. And he sees them on TV and Chucky waves and he sees that he also has the Made in Japan thing on his wrist. So he's like, okay, that's my parents. And he flies to California. He escapes his cage, flies to California, and Glenn uh, arrives, I guess, at the prop department and he sees Chucky and Tiffany they're not moving so he reads the inscription on the back of the amulet that he has I don't know but he reads it and they come back to life so they see that they're movie stars now 
and one of the special effects guys comes in to work on him. He takes the back part off of Tiffany, and it's like blood and a heart or something in there. And her and Chucky end up cutting his head off with some type of cable. And Glenn sees this. He's freaking out. He doesn't like people getting killed, so he pees all over himself. They take his pants off, and there's nothing there. So Chucky's saying, don't worry, you'll get a growth spurt or something. He, he wants to name him Glenn. Tiffany says, no, he's a girl. We're going to call him Glinda. And this is a running joke throughout this entire movie that he's Glenn, Glinda. Oh, So Jennifer Tilly shows up, and she takes a candy bar from Chucky that she left in there earlier. I don't know why she would leave a candy bar inside of a prop. I don't know why she would drive all the way back to the studio to get one candy bar when she could easily just go into a store and buy a candy bar. I don't know, but she shows up. Tiffany sees her and she's like, oh, it's Jennifer Tilly. <laughs> and she's impressed. She's starstruck. And Jennifer Tilly sees the body of the uh, special effects guy and she calls the police. She's a suspect. Um, she, uh, we see John Waters, who is a reporter, he's taking pictures of her, and she gets in a limo. Chucky, Glenn, and Tiffany follow her and get in the limo. And Tiffany decides that she wants to use the amulet and take Jennifer Tilly's body. Chucky can take Redman's body. And it just, it gets weirder. Um, so Glenn asks his parents why they kill people. Chucky says, it's a hobby, it relaxes them. Tiffany tells Chucky to promise they won't kill anymore because they need to turn over a new leaf. They have a son now, or a daughter. And Chucky reluctantly agrees, okay, we won't kill any more people, but then we see his fingers are crossed, of course. So then they need a plan for Glenn. Glenn needs to have a body. If they're going to be uh, Jennifer and Redman. Oh my goodness. So Chucky is going to jerk off into a cup and they're gonna use this to impregnate Jennifer Tilly so that when she has human kids they'll have a body for Glenn so he's in there and he's trying to do this and he asks Tiffany uh, if she can give him a hand and <laughs> she turns around and shows her fake doll boobs <laughs> I was just watching this like Oh my god, what the hell is going on here? So Chucky eventually uses Fangoria magazine for this. Redman comes over. Tiffany drugs their champagne, which was completely ridiculous because they never even drink any. She just ends up knocking Redman out. Um, we see uh, she knocks out Jennifer Tilly. John Waters is taking photos from outside the house. And... Uh, while Tiffany goes to try and impregnate Jennifer Tilly with uh, Chucky's stuff, um, Chucky decides he's going to take Glenn out on the town, and in doing so, he's going to take Redman's Hummer. Glenn's pushing the gas pedals, uh, Chucky's driving, and then he kills Britney Spears. He's driving the Hummer, this girl drives by, her tag says Britney, Britney Wan or something, and it's supposed to be a look-alike for Britney Spears, so Chucky runs her off the road and then says, oops, I did it again. Shameful. Just shameful. But, uh... So they magically find John Waters, this guy who was taking pictures. Chucky sees him outside and just knows exactly where to go. And he finds this guy. Glenn accidentally scares him. He bumps into a shelf. Some acid falls onto his face and just melts part of his face. And Chucky's happy, he's proud of Glenn, but Glenn keeps saying it was an accident, I don't like killing people. Uh, so Tiffany is trying to make amends, she doesn't want to kill people anymore, she's calling the wife of the cop she killed, uh, Robert Bailey I believe, and Bride of Chucky, to apologize, and I thought it was kind of cool that they went back and remembered something like that. So Jennifer starts to get sick. And she has Redman come over. She tells him she's pregnant. He says it can't be his. 
and now because of this he can't hire her for the role she wanted so Tiffany hears this and she gets really pissed off she goes over under the table and just disembowels Redman Glenn sees this and his eye starts to twitch he's starting to get freaked out because of his parents actions uh, Jennifer's stomach is already getting bigger because it's a voodoo pregnancy so she's already like I don't know four months pregnant or something and Chucky ties her up Glenn shows up and says that he doesn't want to be a killer Chucky says that or Chucky opens the closet door and sees Redman's body so he also sees that Tiffany has been secretly killing people just like he has so the whole not killing thing didn't work they both broke the promise um, Chucky needs I'm trying to see what I wrote down here I didn't reread my notes again because I just wrote it down but wrote the promise but anyways they're going to do the ritual and then Jennifer's assistant comes over and Glenn Glenda sets her on fire at first we think it's Tiffany who kills her but then we see it's Glenda and he's just completely lost it now he's dressed like Tiffany he's killing people um, he's just freaking out this was pretty funny and Tiffany slaps him and she tells she says what have you done to our son now she's calling him Glenn so it was really confusing but eventually Jennifer Tilly gives birth and she has twins so they're getting really confused now. Um, they don't know which body to put Glenn, Glenda in. Um, so Chucky goes to perform the ritual, and then he decides he wants to stay a doll after all. After all of these movies where Chucky is trying to find a body, and he just he can't find... It's always getting screwed up. The whole Andy thing. Now he decides that he wants to... Wait a minute, they killed someone else here. Oh, because they don't have Red Man, they get the limo driver, that's right. So they're going to take, uh, Chucky's going to be the limo driver, Tiffany's going to be Jennifer Tilly, and they have the twins now, so they're going to put Glenn in one of those. And Chucky's doing the ritual, and he says, you know what, what's so great about being human? You get old, you get sick, I'm a killer doll, I am infamous. And he decides he wants to stay a doll. Tiffany says, I don't want to stay a doll, so I'm going to leave you. And I'm taking our son, or our kid, with us. And uh, Chucky gets this weird look on his face, which was really cool looking. He says, nobody leaves me. And he throws a knife, kills the limo driver. And then Tiffany stabs him and takes off. Um, so then we see Jennifer Tilly is in the hospital. The police showed up. Um, prevented them from killing each other and Jennifer's in the hospital and Tiffany and Glenn sneak in drug her so that Jennifer can take over her body Chucky breaks into the room with an axe just like The Shining he cuts it in and he sticks his face in and says I don't I can't think of anything to say lame joke but he breaks in and he hits Tiffany in the face right after she performs the ritual so she's dying and we see Glenn get really pissed off about this and he does some crouching tiger kung fu on Chucky completely absurd and then he hits Chucky with the axe and then cuts off Chucky's arms and legs and eventually his head but Chucky's actually like proud of him as this is happening so five years later we see Jennifer Tilly and she kills a nanny and then her eyes turn green and we can see that the ritual actually worked. Tiffany is now in Jennifer Tilly's body. The twins, I don't know how to explain this. They're Glenn and Glenda. It's like they're, the doll is in both of them somehow. And it's their birthday and the Glenn boy opens up his present and it's Chucky's arm. And it just reaches up and grabs him by the throat and then the movie ends thankfully and it was just way way too over the top here I mean it did have some funny moments but yeah it was just way too much and I don't know it was just a 
sour end to the Child's Play franchise. Um, so yeah, but I mean everybody already knows that this is pretty much, everybody agrees this is just a shitty movie. But uh, anyway, there is supposed to be a new movie coming out in 2013 called Curse of Chucky. And I've heard all these different things. It's going to be a reboot. It's going to be part of the Chucky storyline. So I'm not really sure. It's supposed to be directed DVD, but I am looking forward to it. It's got, you know, the original people, or at least uh, Brad DeRiff. Um, hopefully I pronounced his last name right. I've never heard anybody say it really, so I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, he's coming back to be Chucky, so that sounds promising. I mean, it's been a long time since we got a movie. Hopefully they've learned from their mistakes and they just go back to the original, what made the original successful. Because if you think about it, this series as a whole, now that this is the last movie and I'm going to be starting a new series next week, now that this one is over, you can really tell that they just got worse and worse. Um, the first three aren't that bad. Compared to Bride and Seed, they're great. But the first movie really is what made all of these other ones popular. I mean, the second one wasn't too bad, but it was really just based off of the first movie. I mean, the only reason anybody went to see Seed of Chucky, or Bride of Chucky, or the only reason the Chucky franchise even took off, the Child's Play franchise, was because the first movie was so good. So, definitely, the first movie is the best, and then they just get, you know, there's like a few good things about the rest of them, and then it just keeps going down and down and down. Um, kind of like the Leprechaun series, really. But, uh... Yeah, so that's it. That is my review of all the movies so far in the Child's Play franchise. I will do, you know, Curse of Chucky. Hopefully it comes out soon in 2013, early 2013. But, um, yeah, until then, that's it for the Child's Play series. And I'll be back next week starting a brand new uh, horror movie series to review. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the Child's Play videos. Um, leave your thoughts on Seed of Chucky in the comments below. And thanks for watching.